Hello again, people. Mr. Chris Pond 60 here. Um, I'm kind of in the mood to do another um, Nirvana guitar lesson right at the moment, considering how well I did my Sentence Apprentice lesson for you all last time. Got some pretty good feedback. Um, so I just thought, yeah, I'll do another one for you. Um, today's lesson is going to be Radio Friendly Unit Shifter off the In Utero, al In Utero album, just like Sentence Apprentice. Um, now, like Sentence Apprentice, the guitar is going to be tuned down to E flat, so it wouldn't be drop C sharp. Um, normally you E string would be C sharp, but you know, for this one it's just going to be normal E flat, etc, etc. Um, so let's point out that I am not using my Boss DS2 for this lesson, I'm actually um, using something that I got for my birthday, which is a, um, a Boss ME50 guitar version. Honestly, absolutely brilliant. Distortion, chorus, delay you can get out of it, you know, har harmonising all that. Absolutely fantastic. Especially the variation version on the overdrive distortion section. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, um, I'll also point out at the end of the lesson what, what kind of effects and what levels I've got it on. Um, just in case you want to know what what kind of settings you've got, you care, nearly got to at the time. This, this is, um, it's not, these are not the actual effects, not exact, exact, but you know, very, very, they're close, like. Um, so, yeah, no squabble for me, let's get down to it. Um, the, the intro bit, as you know, is that chorusy, feedbacky thing. Um, and so I'll just play that, and then I'll break it down. That's the beginning. Um, it goes on for a bit longer there, but um, don't know why I put it short. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, I'll show you how to play that. Right, and um, the frets are going to need. You're going to need the 14th on the G. Let's put the distortion back on. Well, I won't use the chorus. So I'll use that in a minute. Um, so 14th fret on the G, and bend it up a few times. So you bend that up about one, two, three, three times at the beginning, and then fourth time you're going to go up to the 15th fret on the B and bend that up. So those are the actual numbers you can do at the start. Um, I won't bother explaining the um, the rest because um, you know I might just make I just might make it sound complicated. If you listen to the record a couple of times, um, you'll get the idea of how many times you need to play it. Um, but that's the that's the basic idea of that, and I'll put the chorus on. So that's the gist of the intro there. Um, the next bit is just scraping while the bass and the drums are going. Um, you do that for about four bars. You just do a lot of scraping like that. Now I'm actually hearing a little bit of an A flat in there. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, I think I can hear that. But um, yeah, it's rough, just what I can hear at the time. So if you wanted to do that, like A, E, 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 a flat, sorry. Um, just bar your hand across the um, the top of the fretboard and put your index finger on the second fret. And uh, this is very handy for doing stuff like Jimi Hendrix, like stuff. Sounds like distortion. So you can actually can hear the, uh, that's the only note ringing out. The rest is just all muted. Um, okay, so you do that for about four bars. Then we get into the main riff, which everybody loves and everyone should know how to play. In my opinion, um, and I'll, break, I'll go for that and then I'll break it down. Okay, um, as you know, they, as you might have seen just then, they were, they were obviously power chords. Now I'll show you what power chords to play. Just get a bit close up again. Um, power chords you're going to need. You're going to need an A. And I'll show you how I play. I actually play how Kirk Cobain plays the power chords now because I used to go with the pinky on, but now I just do two fingers, which is my index finger and mid and ring finger. So anyway, you're going to need an A. 
you're going to need a C. And bear in mind, these are all E flat, so I'll say these anyway. So A, C, C flat, C sharp, oops, stupid, C. Ignore that. Then a G. Then a B. Then F sharp. Now on that little left sharp bit, um, what I actually hear Kurt do, does, what he does, is um, lift the index finger at once. Something like that. Similar to what Sandlet's Apprentice was played, um, except it was in C sharp. Something like that. Um, but yeah, just do that basically. Um, so you should know how to play those power chords. Um, yeah, about that. Just go through it one more time. Uh, before I go into the verse chords, not that there are only chords, but there are. No mind, I'll get on it in a minute. Um, a strumming pattern, which I'll point out, just like um, in Tenth's Apprentice. Um, this time I'll, I'll explain it. This time I just I won't show how you how you do it. Not like that little plugging thing that you did in Tenth's Apprentice. But this time I'll show you how to do the strumming pattern. Um, I'll play it. I'll play it um, normal speed, and then I'll slow it down, and hopefully you should know how to do it. So. Slowly. That's a strumming pattern for the main riff bits. Now, I'll go on to the um, verse chorusy things. Um, yeah, verse things. Um, Right at the end of the main riff, sorry for that off a minute, Kurt plays uh, just like an Kurt plays an A just on on here. And while that's ringing, he just sings his vocals. Um, now this is also related to songster.com, because um, I found the chords and they're pretty similar to the ones on the record. Uh, it's not actually what Kurt does, but um, I'm not sure if he did it live either. I'm not sure if he kept on the A, but it's what I could see at the time, and I, and I pretty like these chords, so you can use them if you want. Um, I don't know what the notes are for the vibra vibrating thing, but um, you know I'll play these chord. This, I'll do this chord version anyway. Um, so as you know, you start with on that with an A. At the start of the verse. So that's on bar one. You know what I mean. Second bar, he um, he plays like a similar A. But this time, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll do this finger. I'll explain the finger in here as well. Um, it's basically like your A, normal A, except you slides it to the fifth fret, and that sounds quite nice with a lot of distortion. Second bar, that's done. Third bar, um, and this is all related to song set again. Just like that. Um, next one, I'll explain the finger for this. You put your index finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Now you bar you um, you mute the G string with your index finger. That's what I do anyway, so it doesn't ring out. And then you put your index ring finger and pinky on the eighth fret, eighth frets of the B and E, bottom E and E, e and B strings. And put the A on top of there as well. That gives it that gives it quite a nice sound, especially with that distortion again. And this chord sounds familiar to the one I showed you just there I, I earlier. Just me. And the last chord, um, which ex which is explained on Songster, um, it's the same. This is the same shape, but except you put your middle finger down on the on the eighth fret as well. So 
sorry, it's fine. My computer just went off for a minute there. Um, anyway, yeah, you put your mid middle finger on the A fret and put the distortion on that. So those are the chords of what I played in the verses. So that was pretty quick. Um, I'll just go through them one more time. So it's an A. Then that A was slid up to the fifth. Then that lock thing. And then yeah, those are the main those are the um chords that I that was on Songster. Uh, while I was called to go in, there are some chorusy vibrato things going on the um in the bottom of the guitar here. But I won't go in I won't go into that because I don't know them myself. But if you can find them off for yourself, yeah, that's brilliant. Um so anyway, you play those you play those chords in the verses. Then you're going back into the main riff again. And then you're playing the the um the verse again. And then another chorus. Then after that you've got the bridge, and I'll go through that now. The bridge really, really straightforward. Um basically it's a C power chord and you play it. You play these um, these chords, just like you out, eight times on each. So you've got a C, you've got a C chord for a start. Then slide up to an A, I mean E, sorry. Then to an A. Then G. And you play those eight times, you play each chord eight times, and you do it for four bars, so I'll play that quickly. And then back into the main verse. I love that chord there. And that one. <laughs> anyway, those are the main. Those are the main parts of the song. Right at the end. Um, I'll point out as well, if you've seen my cover of Radio Friendly Unit Shifter, um, I was doing a lot of tapping and all that, you know, bit of tapping around there, right at the end. Um, not actually what I played, but um, you know, did quite a lot of vibrato, vibrato things. I did a couple of vibrato things right at the bottom of the neck, and everywhere, everywhere else, to be honest. Um, but anyway, those are the main gifs, the, the main bits of the song. Um, so I hope you all have a lot of fun practicing those. Um, like I said, uh, no, not like I said, sorry. <laughs> yeah, those seem to be the main parts of the song. Um, now I said at the, at the end of the lesson that I'd go through the um, effects that I've got going on through my ME50, just in case you were all interested. Um, basically, I've got a little bit of reverb going on, a bit of room reverb. As you might have heard throughout the whole song. Um, distortion I'm using, I am using a I'm using the muffles effect with no variation on. The drives off a full whack. The tones off at eleven o'clock. The bottom bit is bottom section is down nearly at ten o'clock and level is at two o'clock. Um, now I said the levels the levels taken all the way off but you know I'm not that stupid. Um, Tone modifier. Um, I'm just using it on a mild, was it mild? No, tight setting. Uh, a bit of sustain as well. Yeah, room reverb. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the distortion and the main tones going on. The chorus, the chorus bit. That bit, as you know. Um, I'm using it. I'm using the um, steel chorus one. SD chorus one. The rate is all at the top, by full whack. The depth harmony is um, 11, 11 o'clock, and the level of resonance is at nearly 4 o'clock. You should have just understood that easily. Well, that's about covers it. That's the effects that I use in the song, and that's how you play all the main bits of the song.